Right, good afternoon and welcome back to another vlog here on Coast of Crazy YouTube channel. Uh, you've seen the title, we're here at Liseyberg. Yay, uh, yay finally. Um, yeah, the park is open for people to walk in. Um, I've actually just bought the wristband on the gate and it worked out to be about 30 quid. It's like a complete bargain, is that? Um, Paul um, has the uh, Blackpool Pleasure Beach season. season pass and you actually get in for free. Uh, is it one visit per year? Per year, yeah. One visit per year. But also with that, you're also getting to Colmarden and uh, Gronel one for free as well. And, and there's that little park in somewhere in Spain, I can't Oh yeah, there's a, there's a few, isn't there? Yeah. But I, I don't have a Blackpool Pleasure Beach season pass. However, I'm with the European Coaster Club. Uh, there's no discounts here, but you can get into Colmarden and Grohl and all for free with the European Coaster Club. But yeah, riders don't open yet, so what we'll do is we'll, I don't know. <laughs> we'll go to Helix first, please. It, yeah, we'll go to Helix first, see if it'll uh, pop my shoulder back in its socket. Yeah, I, have, I don't know if I've mentioned it ever in a vlog, but five years ago when we came here, uh, we rode Helix, it's incredible airtime on it, and um, yeah, the next morning I couldn't move my uh, my arm, my shoulder was completely frozen and I'm pretty sure that the airtime popped my uh, shoulder out of its socket. It's still not right now, I still can't lift it up fully, but I'm a soldier and I get on with life and I forget about stuff like that. <laughs> so on that airtime hill I'm not going to put my arms up. So yeah, we're here at Leesburg, it's 100 years old uh, this year. Uh, brand new credit, well there's two brand new credits for me here. One of them's Valkyria, the B&M dive coaster which was under construction last time we came. And the other one is Luna which is up on top of the hill. So the park is open, to, is it till 10 o'clock tonight? Yeah. yeah. Um, we're also staying at the Grand Curiosa Hotel which is just there behind me. We will have to walk back to the car to grab our bags later to check in. There will be a room tour, hope you enjoyed the travel vlog. Nice and simple travel vlog, um, telling you how to get to the, well, how to get here basically, from Stansted. I don't know where I'm going, I'm following you, are we going the right We're now? going down here, yeah, <laughs> follow me. <laughs> you gotta go up like five or six escalators. So the main reason for us to be here tomorrow, there's um, an event with uh, your experience guide, which used to be uh, Pleasure Beach Experience. There's about two or 300 people coming to this event. One hour's ERT on Boulder, Balder, tomorrow morning before the park opens, and then one hour's ERT on Helix after, after the, park the park closes, closes I'm tonight, so excited. Uh, tomorrow night, yeah, in the dark, in an hour. I'm more excited for Boulder, I think. I love Boulder. Boulder's still my top top 10 uh, coasters in the world. Yay! I'll tell you what, I love it here, over in Europe. So, yeah, we should have a good day today. I'm not sure if I could film on the rides. I have just message Pontus, um, who's like the managing PR director here now, um, if, we, if I'm allowed to film. I think if not, it doesn't matter, I think we can film tomorrow on rides. Yeah, Scott said, didn't he, in yeah. his email, he said, you'll be allowed to film tomorrow. Yeah, we should be able to film tomorrow. So today will be more of a walking around, give you an is, is that review. The, the, the Leis, yeah, at least burn ba banana, which doesn't open in another 15 minutes. So we'll get up and do, uh, Helix. Uh, there's also a brand new dark ride here for me as well, which is the Underworld. It's like the bunny rabbit ride. So I'm looking forward to that. I love a good dark ride. But this park is absolutely stunning. It's absolutely good, you know. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I mean, look at it. You wouldn't think we're in this. Well, we're not. It's a city park, and most people will say it's in the center of Gothenburg. It's not. It's on the outskirts of Gothenburg. There's Gothica Towers over there. Helix just up here, and you got to go up the escalators. I think most people, yeah, everyone else has just been let in through the gates now. Well, I've just down there, the queued for it now for us for quarter past three, so we can, yeah. we can cancel that if, if, if need be. Yeah, it should be walk on. And um, there's also some sort of festival on, like 400 years of Gothenburg. So there's like festivals and music and stuff on. I've seen cars driving past, honking the horns with balloons and. Like the fireworks going off, yeah. Ah, oh, I love this park so much. I've only ever been here twice. <laughs> you gotta go up here on the left. So the actual main entrance to the park is just down here. Uh, so it's not 
the biggest park in the world and yes it is an amusement park and not a, a um, it's a thing it's owned by it belong to a chain does it no it's not it's not a chain no it's like owned by the government the government run it it's a helix and atmosphere you got like three escalators to get up paul is atmosphere the drop tower yeah is it intimate? Uh, yeah, it used to be an uh, uh, observation tower. I don't think it's open yet. So yeah, Helix and Atmosphere, the drop towers is just in here. There's a rope drop. Oh, massive queue. Yeah, it it's not open yet anyway. You can get a coffee while we're waiting. Helix, I'm going to have to get my phone out, I've got my um, coast account list, well not my, my coast account list, but me. My... oh hang on, uh... oh, just message Pontus, he's busy all day, <laughs> hi Andrew, you should have prepared me earlier, I am busy all day so I don't have time to go with you to the rides, not to worry, good that replied though, yeah so no filming on rides today, they are pretty strict with it here to be honest, so people just stood around just for the crack, Oh, this is the queue, man. Oh, it is, yeah. Yeah, it's a queue. So, yeah, it's, I'm pretty sure that Helix is still in my top 10. I'll just, I'll just get my list up. I do have, like, a top 10 list. Uh, top 10s. Uh, six. My six favourite. Um, Boulder's not on there, but Boulder's in my top 10 wooden coasters. Put it down as third best wooden coaster I've been on after Troy and Ghost Rider. So you you think you think that Wicker Man's better than? I might change Colossus. all that. Yeah, I might change all that. <laughs> Colossus is way better than Wicker Man. Yeah, Colossus is even on my top 10. But uh, yeah, so my top 10 coasters at the moment currently: Velocity Coaster, Taran, Hyperion, Zadra, Iron Glazy, Helix, Let Coaster, Troy, Montu, and Fly. But it might change. I don't know. Not done any of that. No. <laughs> I have. <laughs> right, bang on three o'clock. The queue line opened. Yeah, this uh, queue line's really industrial. I like all the green lights. There's the, uh, there's the station up there. Oh, I'm so excited to get on this bad boy. Yeah, awesome coaster. Absolutely fell in love with this thing. Even though it uh, dislocated my shoulder. <laughs> yeah, this is a, that, that's a bin. That's a bin there. Bin, bin POV. <laughs> Where you been? Music's on Paul. I'm a score, yeah. I have got my Velocity Coaster t-shirt on today. Oh yeah, can't wait to get back on Helix. One of the best coasters in the world, no matter what you say. And I know that uh, Taylor and Sarah are actually coming back over to Europe this month for June. And they still think that Ride to Happiness is the best coaster in Europe. It's, it's, it's not. <laughs> I, prefer huh? I prefer Zadra. Zadra's amazing. Yeah. That's oh. only because he doesn't like spinning coasters. All things have got backwards. Yeah, right, it's alright, Ride to Happiness, but Helix is much better, Taran's much better, Zadra's much yeah, better. I yeah, and Hyperion, much better. Yeah, I also really like Untamed. Untamed? I've not done Untamed yet. Yeah. yeah. So I'll point out as well, if you've never been to a European country before, Sweden's one of the best because pretty much everyone speaks really good English here. And we're straight into the station here, look. Must be on a three train service. Excited? Oh, I can't wait to get on this. Can't yeah. wait. Unfortunately, you won't be able to see POVs in this vlog today, but we will hopefully be able to film on rides tomorrow. So uh, I have filmed on here before when we came five years ago. And, and I'm just so excited to be here. It's quite a decent trip to do. It wasn't that expensive. I highly recommend it. I can't recommend, but I can't recommend it enough to be honest. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I can't believe how good that is. Great to get back on Helix. Still one of my top coasters for sure. It's smooth, it's intense, it's fast, it's comfortable, it's got loads of air time, it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. You go down here, don't you? Yeah, we go down here then and turn right. How was that? Just smiles as it all, doesn't it? <laughs> brilliant. I tell brilliant. you what, it'll be a top coaster when you've ridden it for an hour tomorrow just night. So much better than Icon. <laughs> so much longer. Doesn't even compare to Icon. No. I mean, Icon's great for the UK, but that, this is like that last third time here. Is insane. Yeah, after that, yeah, after really the second, good. after the second launch and inversion, yeah. Brilliant ride. Just awesome. Wait till later on. Yeah. yeah, when it's walled up a bit. Yeah, you saw him in the travel vlog. He's here again. Oh, God damn Mark it. Raybol! Hello. Mushroom Productions. Oh, Very... Travel vlog, I'm now your normal. Yeah. Oh, damn. One of the longest UK YouTubers in the UK. Yeah. When did you start again? 2000 uh, and what? 2006. 2006. Just think, just think some of the interviews that's coming through now have. I've got channels and they weren't even born when my channel was created. Yeah. When did YouTube start? 2006. Wow. Yeah, right. Literally straight away. Like, like, my YouTube channel. Okay, now, see after. Right, so yeah, up to the top of here now we've got Luna, which is the brand new. Uh, what's the area called? Uh, Luna Park. Luna Park, yeah. Here it comes. Oh. It's so good, and it's one of the most photogenic coasters in the world, is Helix. I mean, the way that they built it on the side of the mountain is incredible. It's yeah, really... It's not a mountain. It's a mountain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it needs to warm up a little bit, but it's still super smooth. But if you think that's smooth, I, I wait till you I get... I would say, only on one ride, that that is smoother than I can. Oh, yeah. If you think that's smooth, wait till they get on the banana there. It's even smoother. And then Boulder's even smoother than that. Oh, here we are. The banana. Why is it like banana? Because it's called Leesburg Bannon. Banana. Leesburg Banana. <laughs> Didn't do this last time we came, five years ago, because it was closed. It's one of them SNS uh, Sky Swings, isn't it? Oh, yeah. oh, Helix is so good, dude. Yeah. So happy to be back at this park. I really am. I just want to run around and do it again, but I need to get the other creds. So. Yeah, well, yeah, well, I've only got two creds, and then I'll leave you to it, so I can sit on Boulder all day, and then for an hour in tomorrow morning, and then for the rest of tomorrow, because I think Boulder's incredible. I can't wait to get back on it, and it's had a retrack as well. Oh, there you go. There's Luna. Yeah, Boulder had a retrack, which is a uh, Intamin Prefab Woody. And yeah, can't wait. This is a beautiful park. It really is one of the most stunning parks I've ever been to in the world. It's beautiful. This whole area around here is uh, is brand new. Luna Park. You also got one of them uh, nebulous rides. Who makes them? Sam Pearly, yeah, never done one of those before. I should have gone to, uh, is that a five minute wait? Yeah, five minute wait for Luna. Yeah, I should have gone to Drayton Manor this week, but like I said, with it being school holidays, I didn't really want to go anywhere, to be honest. Everywhere was rammed. Woo! Huh? No, oh no. Didn't do Drayton last year either. I had, to, I had to just to say goodbye to Apocalypse. Oh. Yeah, that yeah, pretty much walk on. For a brand new, brand new coast only opened, uh, what, a few weeks ago, really? April. Was it April? <laughs> I'm not keen on anything that goes backwards, you know that by now. Uh, Luna, yeah, going backwards did make me feel sick just a little bit, 
uh, but a very, very, very nice ride. The Coma Junior Boomerang, so it is custom layout as well. It looks really nice. Um, very strange how they're playing. E.T. in the background. <laughs> oh, I told you. There you go, that's where I knew there was another one of these bike rides somewhere. Yeah, there was one of these at Denley's Park that I went to. Was it Denley's? I can't remember. The one in the one in France I went to. Was it Denley's? I can't remember now. Yeah, they're playing E.T. music. Oh, down here. Yeah. Right, next up. Oh, man, you've got all sorts of stuff. Me and Sean did that last time we came and it broke down on us. <laughs> so we'll be doing that again. It's one of them Gerslauer spinning things. Sky, yeah, not, not too keen on those. But yeah, that was Walk on Luna. Very, very good. Absolutely good, you know. So yeah, go around to do Valkyria or Valkyrie or I don't know what it's, how we pronounce it. Valkyra. Is it, how is, how is it, Mark? Valkyra. Valkyra, what he said. <laughs> new cred for you? No. Oh, you did Luna. Oh, Luna was a new cred for me. Yeah. But I said a new cred today and it's... What's, what's your cred count? 622. Beating him by 12. <laughs> 12. <laughs> Not much, I'll get a couple more out on Sunday. 622, I've just added 634. Oh, yeah, man. beating him. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> The thing is with Craig Counts, it's so what the experience. You know? it's, it's the experience. It says you've been on a lot, so people can go to you like, oh, they can go say, oh, have you been on this one? Yeah. You might say, yeah. Yeah, done it. Got the got the t-shirt. <laughs> <Yeah, he's wearing laughs> Literally. Yeah, you got one as well. I've got Another one as awesome well. Yeah, 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 it's well good. Done it. Look how slim we look now. We look I know, like, it's we look good. Like, we look like I Chippendales. I, I wish we were that slim. Yeah. <laughs> Wide angle. Hashtag got, oh, excuse me. Oh. Thank, thank, you. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Hashtag uh, lens mod. You need one. Look uh, at that. Don't, oh, look at that. Don't, don't need it. Don't Ta need it. it takes five stone off you. <laughs> That's why I use it. <laughs> right, down to uh, Valkyra next, which is the BMW um, dive coaster, which we, they were building. Last time I came here, there's also a a, a takeover on the log flume as well tomorrow. Yeah, Proper I old school. On it. Yeah, old school arrow one, that isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. And um, it's going to be a fat boat as well available. And there was rumours that they were going to take that out, wasn't there? Yeah, it was. But I don't think they are. It's his 50th anniversary this year. Oh, is it? And Park's 100th, and that's 50. Yeah, Park is 100 years old this year, and the log flume's 50 years old. Yeah, really good log flume, one of the best in the world, that. Yeah, oh, Loki as well. You like your flat rides? Loki's amazing. And you got Mechanica, uh, Bling. <laughs> it, no, it's not Bling. I don't know where. Where did Bling go to? Uh, it went to Skyline Park, which I managed to ride there. Then Where's that? Gone, uh, Southern Germany. Oh, Germany, oh, and yeah. Now it's gone to Fantasy Islands. Huh? Do you know it went to go, meant to go to Fancy Island? Oh yeah, but it didn't. It, it's there now it's in, apparently, what I've seen. It's in storage, isn't it? Yeah, it's storage. Yeah. So next up is Valkyria. Uh, yeah, last time we were here, they, they, they didn't even build half of this. Oh, wait, I can already see the layer. It's way long. Oh, it's massive, yeah. Yeah, yeah really good B&M dive coaster. I say really good, I've not been on it yet. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. it will be good. Right, another new cred for me. It's on 10 minutes apparently. B&M dive coaster. I do like a B&M dive coaster. Sheikah is my number one. Uh, at Bush Gardens, Florida. Right, there you go. Since I last filmed anything, I think I've got some fluff on my lens. I don't know. Yeah, since the last film, yeah, yeah, no bags allowed uh, into the queue line for Valkyrie. Uh, but I could have taken my phone. I might have to do that next time to get some footage. The, the station's absolutely stunning inside that building there. It's amazing. The actual coast itself, incredible. One of the best B&Ms I've ever, I've ever ridden. That was awesome. Is it better than Shikra? I don't really know. I'm going to have to try it again. We was on the third row for that, and it's super smooth really intense like really really good coaster uh what did you think to uh valkyria i've only done three dive coasters but that's by far the best yeah crack it's, he was on kraken the other day craig 
and then we're just on Balbo, which is amazing. We sat near the front, running a little bit slow, but it's still got that amazing airtime on it, and it's super smooth. It's got to be the smoothest wooden coaster in the world, is Boulder. Um, other than maybe Colossus as well at Hyder Park, but I, I preferred uh, I preferred Boulder. We got Loka behind us here, but Paul wants to get his creds, so we've got uh, two kitty creds. Well, he's got two. I haven't. I've got all my creds here now. Oh yeah, back the wrong way. It's a, it's a rapid. Rapid's beautiful here as well. Um, so yeah, we've got coaster wise two kid creds and uh, Leesburg uh, Bannon as well to do. Um, there's a dark ride we need to do as well. There's a log flume, rapids, uh, and loads of uh, loads of flat rides like Loki, one of the world's best flat rides, right there. Uh, really enjoyed it last time I did that. Love a good gyro swing. Yeah. Really good rapids, and also what's here as well, which we did last time, is a scare maze. Uh, apparently, Mark's saying it's it's included in your wristbands now. Last time we came, it was an upcharge. So we're going over to do Underland. But yeah, it's an absolutely stunning park. You wouldn't think you was in a city here with how beautiful it is. And round here is like a... What's this area called? Sweden what? Sweden Port? Uh, Swedish Village. Look at the uh, jumping fountains. Yeah, and then we'll get something to eat and then maybe go and check into the room and then come back to the park. It is open till 10 tonight. Uh, I think it's just gone 4 o'clock, 20 past 4. Uh, four Hello! Hello, guys. Hello. This is, what is the time? Tell them. Coaster Crazy. Oh, Coaster Crazy on YouTube. Check it out. <laughs> Probably haven't got a clue what I just said. You've got you to sell yourself on Nah, you? what's the point? <laughs> what's the point? <laughs> If you come across the video, hello. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we could do the uh, walkthrough. I don't know if that's got a queue or what, but it's just here. I'll do it over here. Uh, oh, it's here, Hotel Gaston. Come on then. Hotel Gaston. Yeah, can't film or do any, well, they're really strict uh, here at this park. I remember last time, even when we did have permission to film on the rides, all the staff were like, oh, yeah, yeah, no filming. I said, well, yeah, we've got permission. So, yeah, Hotel Gaston. Looks like it's walk-on. I mean, it's not the biggest amusement park in the world. I mean, it's completely dead around this section here. Yeah, it's compact. Yeah, very compact. Rides on top of rides here. I don't know if there's a queue for it or not. Looks like we're straight into it, though. I'll let you know what it's like when we come out, but I remember this being absolutely amazing last time we did it. Right, just done Hotel Gaston, which is a um, scare maze. Uh, hands on shoulders, one probably one of the yeah, probably one of the only ones in the world where they still have, ha make you put hands on shoulders on the f person in front of you. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's probably up there with one of the best themed scare mazes in the world, is that. Uh, a couple of jump scares. Loads of actors in there. Yeah, yeah, loads. Probably seven or eight. Oh, good, good group of actors in there. Oh, it's one of the best views ever, that. Um, so yeah, I'm, I tell you what, I'm starting to feel hungry though, lads. Been up since five this morning. I'm like, well, what time were you up this morning? Uh, <laughs> no, I had a bit of a line, seven-ish. Oh, is it? <laughs> seven-ish. <laughs> Yeah, I was up up at five this morning. I've had nothing. I've had uh, what did I have in the airport? Oh, I had a coffee Nero, cafe cafe Nero. But well, look at this, it's absolutely stunning here, isn't it? Yeah, nice weather as well. Beautiful, beautiful park. That view's amazing. Yeah, but you got the sun in the way, so it won't make a good picture. Because you just get glare off the sun. Glare off the sun. Right, a uh, couple more coasters, dark ride, and then something to eat, I think. Uh, and least, least, least burn Bannon, and, and then Abyssus, not very good. <laughs> I don't know if he's with the group or not. He's wearing an Abyssus t shirt. Yeah, so this is the, what is it, Kanda, Kanda Land? Land? Can can kinder ki like yeah like Kinderland isn't it Kindercart kiddie section. 
Oh, that's all right, yeah. A couple of kitty creds. What are you thinking to the park so far, though? Lovely. Safe. Well, God. I'll say it. Get yourselves to Leesburg. <laughs> yeah, get your sends here. It's well good. Um, yeah, I didn't. There's a couple of things in this park that I didn't do last time I came. You got like this monorail up here, basically the same as the one that's at Poulton's Park. I think it's the same manufacturer as well, I don't really know. <laughs> Give you information about stuff, but I don't know myself. <laughs> um, yeah, so I don't know where Underland is. Oh, <laughs> What's the toddler called? I don't know, you've got a runaway toddler here. <laughs> little down there. Um, yeah, Underworld, it's here, isn't it here? I don't know where it is. I don't know where the dark ride is. Is it over? Sierra Force. Huh? Sierra Force. Zero Force, yeah. You got two of them. There's two of them here. Oh, there you are. Look at it. It's, it's the dark ride here. Yeah. Underland it. But look, it's it's sort of, sort of hidden away. Not a lot of people. Sean Sandbrook said the same thing when he came last year. It's like no one was talking about it. No one knew it was open. We knew it was coming because we'd seen the concept art. Coaster first. Good. Coaster first. All right, he wants his kiddie creds. <laughs> Kid, yeah, the kiddie creds. Uh, entrance is here, I think. Have fun. I'm not going on, I've done it before. In a bit. Uh, walk on. Yeah, park's really quiet today, I tell you what. It's a lot quieter than thought was the other day. You've already done one of these. Hansa Park. There was one at Hansa Park. It made it look like the wooden coaster. Did you did you do it? now completed every coaster in well I should have done this bit earlier after I come off Valkyrie but yeah I've now done every coaster here at the park uh, including the two new credits I needed to get on yeah I've just done the uh, Rebolder was it, was it Rebolder yeah Rebolder well Sta oh, Stamp Stamp Bannon Stamp Bannon and then you got Rebolder over there um, which is the other kids cred and you got here Undervelt which is the um, little kids cred is that no in Gand, what's that virtual queue yeah oh, yeah <laughs> virtual queue yeah it's a brand new dark ride that opened last year i think was it no um, or was it the year before was it just after covid it was just after covid yeah pretty sure you could film on this one yeah you can. yeah can't film on a lot of dark rides in the uk though oh i'll tell you what i'm Need some it to eat. It's almost like the dark ride that's at Adventure Island in South End. Right, there you go, just been on Under... What was it called? Undervelt? Un Undervelt, I think it's called. What a cute little dark ride. Something this park really needed, actually. Fits in well with the park. And you can get these uh, really cute rabbit ears as well. <laughs> Probably fit me with my... Gappy teeth, won't it? <laughs> it's alright that one, isn't it, Mark? Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> there you go. 
There you go, what do you think, Pink? Ah, uh, I prefer the green ones. Yeah, green ones. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a pair of what ones. a cute little dark ride. Really enjoyed that. Really nice little themed ride, that. It's just a bit hidden and a bit out of the way. It's, it's very hard to spot. And it was a complete walk on, was that, wasn't it? Literally, yeah. It's a, yeah. it's a children's ride in the children's area. Yeah, really, really good. Oh, here you go. <laughs> Mr. Bunny Rabbit Man. Oh, is there? <laughs> Yeah, they love the games here as well. Loads of games. Yeah, you wouldn't know there was a shop there, to be honest. Hello. <laughs> awesome. Ah, they love the rabbit. Ah, my favourite. <laughs> better than Mickey Mouse. Hey, better than Mickey Mouse. Ah. <laughs> All right, another coaster, we've got one more after this one, which is the Lisburn Bannon. And we're done for coasters within a few hours of park time. It's not that busy here at all, really. Oh, yeah, yeah, this one. Hello. Oh, yeah. All right, final coaster of the park within two hours of being here we've done everything well we've done the coasters anyway 10 minutes for this so within two hours well not within two hours two hours 20 minutes two, yeah two hours 20 minutes i've been in the park and we've nearly done every coaster yeah i was at thought park for five hours the other day and i did four rides in five hours It is a Friday today though. Huh? Well, it said 10 minutes. Is it, is it walk on? Oh my God. It is as well. Walk on rides. <laughs> I see coaster enthusiasts over there. What? Seven creds. Seven creds. Nothing down. Nothing broken. No massive queues. Everything running on like five trains. Oh! <laughs> I got that on camera. Right, so we're back, we're back at Helix. We caught the uh, escalator because Mark's like, oh, there's a really good burger bar plate. It's amazing, the best burgers you've ever had. Um, and we got up, we got upstairs and uh, it's closed. <laughs> well, we've had no food, but yeah, Helix is on 10 minutes apparently. Uh, so we'll try and get like the front row this time. Don't know why I've still got my shades on. But I love this park, it's unbelievable. To say we've done so many rides in such a small amount of time and like I said I was at Thought Park the other day and I got four attractions in five hours like there's no need for theme parks to have like hour long queues everywhere it's you know it might be busier here tomorrow but we won't be that bothered because we've done everything just a few more flat rides to do we've got a uh, Atmosphere, which is one of the world's tallest drop towers to do here. Uh, Loki still to do. The rapids and the log flume and then a few more flat rides, but I'm not really into flat rides that much anyway, so. Oh, they've got a, they've got a really good polyp here as well. Uh, octopus ride, a polyp. So we'll do that. Music Express, uh, yeah, it's a polyp, isn't it? Octopus. Yeah, amazing, they've got the soundtrack on now. I love this park so much. It is one of my favourite theme parks that I've ever visited. I love Leesburg to bits.
Valencia. So it's uh, lunch time, stroke dinner time. I don't really know. Like, what is the time now anyway? Is it? God, it is as well. Six o'clock. Anyway, I've gone for the uh, chicken tacos. Paul's got a barbecue. Was it pork? Was it pork? That one. Yeah, that looks nice as well. Yeah, lovely. I had to get. I had to get Paul to translate everything for me because I've no idea and I don't think my Google Translate has um, Swedish on it. You've got the same, yours looks, it looks nice that. Mm. Cause Paul, cause Paul, I've got a mouthful of food <laughs> Yeah. I'll tell you what, that was a really nice theme park food. Yeah, we had the tacos, these two had the barbecue pulled, well I think it was barbecue pulled pork uh, and I had the uh, pulled chicken and it was very nice, uh, three of them. They worked out to be around seven pound for the meal, which I don't think that's bad at all. Uh, I'm not actually sure what we're doing now, but we do need to go and grab our stuff from a car and go and check into the Grand Curioso Hotel, which is where we're staying tonight. But yeah, there's loads of food and stuff here, but I don't, I don't know what half of it is. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, yeah, get some more rides. I think might go and do the log flume while we're here. But it's such a lovely park, it really is. Loads of places to eat, they have entertainment on at night, and yeah, there was food here, there was the fish and chip place down here last time. Yeah, there's a lot. There's, yeah, there's a lot to do. How was them tacos? Very nice. Lovely. Yeah, lovely. So next up is the uh, classic log flume, uh, arrow log flume as well. How old is this ride? Really old. I don't know the actual age of this. Pretty sure it's, yeah, it's still got the dual station as well. And it's practically walk on everything's about, you just done a mechanic, how was that? One cycle's worth it. One cycle, yeah. Was it walk on? Oh, one, one cycle. cycle uh, about 10 minutes then, yeah. yeah. Everything's on about 10 minutes. It's amazing here. I love this park so much. We're just, uh, we was in the queue for Helix as well. We'll check the times for all the UK parks and what was it? Wickerman was on 50 odd minutes and everything else was like, wow, it's really dark. Galactica was yeah, on 55. Every, Galactica 55. Legoland's busy. Chessington was busy. Thought was busy. Here, everything's 10 minutes. Mildly moist. <laughs> yeah, I got a bit of a just a light sprinkling. A light sprinkle, yeah, yeah. I've got a bit of bit of dribble on me uh, on me shorts. Family channel. <laughs> I ain't quasi. <laughs> oh. 
Awesome, what a park. What a park. Tell you what we could do now. Loki. Yeah, go around and do Loki now. And then we'll just hit up a couple of the flat rides, I think. Maybe Boulder again. And then we'll go and check into the hotel. Oh yeah, drop tower. Right, next up is Loki, uh, the giant Intamin gyro swing, which I don't know if it still is, but it's Sean Sandbrook's favourite flat ride. I, I rode it with him five years ago and he came off saying that was definitely the best flat ride he'd ever been on. I'm not massively into flat rides, but I really enjoyed this. The, the swing through the station <laughs> just there is insane. And when you swing up towards Boulder as well, it's awesome. Loving the green lights in here. It's a bit of a wait, 10 to 20 minutes. But the station's only just here. Rabadingy Rapids, Rabadingy Rapids, bro. Rabadingy Rapids, bro. <laughs> if you haven't seen Three Lions, go and watch it. It's really funny. Are we gonna get wet? We're gonna get wet. Oh, what? Where? Oh no. Uh, no. 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 Ah. Oh. Do you realise how close that was? Really? Just missed you. Oh. Woo. Oh. <laughs> 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 ah. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Lo oh! oh no. As long as, as long as it doesn't hit the GoPro, I'm all right. Is it nice. the waterproof? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. Well, that isn't. The microphone's oh. not, and it's a it's a media mod. The media mod's not waterproof. Okay. Or the Max Lens mod. Ah! <laughs> was that was that somebody saying no cameras? Uh, I don't think. Uh, there's no voice on this one. Oh, right. Are you not allowed to film on here? I think oh. we're allowed to film. Oh. <laughs> Tough. I like the mystery part. I think that one of the ones you're allowed to Oh, no! Camera's wet. Yeah. Only ones that have you go up high. Coasters, yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Do, you have, do you have a season pass here? Uh, just only for uh, the whole day. Yeah. Because uh, we're here with uh, our school. Oh, our school trip. Uh, uh, they paid for almost everything uh, the food uh, from here and then the meal. And geez, they paid for entrance, but not for the actual ride. Yeah. Ah, okay. That's not too bad. Yeah. And we were also on the front of the school. Oh, yeah. I think K KFC I Mega Waves here. Oh, oh, oh shit! Is that it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're both YouTube. Crazy. Oh, and I'm watching crazy. productions. Cool, was it? <laughs> Tell you about your channel. He's on the telly now. Yeah, and I'm watching productions. I'm not doing any filming today. How many subs? 30 odd thousand, 30 what? 33. 33,000. Yeah. yeah! I got that free. You're a big YouTuber. Yeah. 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 I, I was. <laughs> Digi Digital Dan's the bigger. Digital Dan's here today. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, no. Ah, oh, no. 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 Oh, Oh, no. 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 Right, just done Colorado uh, rubber dingy rapids, bro. Yeah, it's all right. We got a, a little bit wet, didn't yeah. we? I think my bag's wetter than I am. Um, for now, that's pretty much it, really, for major rides. We've still got the drop tower to do, uh, and then a few, few of the flat rides, and then yeah, we've pretty much done, pretty much done the whole park. And what time is it now? 
Yeah, yeah quarter past seven, exactly. Two and three quarter hours left. Huh? Two and three quarter hours left. Yeah, park's up until ten. Um, I don't know if it's worth us going and checking in, dude, to be honest. I don't, I don't really know. Or, or just do the park and then go after when we've, when we've finished, I don't really know. It's up to you, mate. Yeah, I don't know what's best to do. We'll probably go and do atmosphere now, the drop tower. But oh, I've had an awesome day today. So in just over five hours, we've pretty much done the whole park. Like I said, at a, just... At a, quite a slowish pace, actually. Yeah, yeah. We're we not have a, rushed. No, not at all. No. no. And there is school, uh, yeah, school, school trips yeah. here as well. The, the, the hotel is going to be used to people checking in late, isn't it? Because people are going to come to the park for the day. So I won't worry about it. We're going to be checking it after. Yeah, we're checking whenever we... Whenever, really. But we need to go back to the car to pick the bags up. Um, and then another another full day on the park tomorrow. So I, I don't even. Well, I will try and do some vlogging tomorrow. Um, but I don't know. If, yeah, because I mean Scott wanted us to do. He did say in the email if you're vlogging, then he'd like to show willing and enthusiastic about it vlogging. Um, but I've done it today. So uh, yeah. But there's just no POVs in this one from today. So I probably will film again tomorrow. It'd be just a partial one and more about the uh, the event that we've come here for anyway but what a beautiful part look at this absolutely stunning the same on the other side as well I'll tell you what, if you're dying for a plop here at uh, Leesburg, they've got you covered. They've got giant plops here. Do you need a plop? Such a spoon, aren't you? Do you need a plop? I'll tell you what, my RBS is playing up. I'll be needing a plop soon. Yeah, plops if you need them. Well, yeah, on a serious note, there's these games to win these chocolate bars everywhere, and you do get, like, a lot of chocolate. Um, and you pretty much guarantee someone's pretty much guaranteed to win every time. So yeah, they're pretty cool. You know what we've got to do right now? Block. As we're passing. <laughs> right, so we're queuing up for um, atmosphere, and yeah, I, I remember it being VR, but I forgot that I didn't realise that they still had it. Where's Andy gone? Oh, watch it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're doing it with VR. I actually thought they took it off, but apparently it's still on. Hello, you all right? Oh, we can go in. Oh. So I'll let you know when it's like when we come off. We can't see anything now. Colours marked face. so good wasn't it paul that was brilliant with the vr on it it was like it was like being in tron stroke daft punk stroke avatar if you're frightened of drop towers it made it less scary because you don't see the heights yeah but the immersion of it was awesome really, really good yeah really good vr yeah that was awesome yes vr doesn't really work on coasters unless it's like crazy bats a Fantasyland or uh, the Runaway Mine Train at Europa Park or something like that. Um, yes, it, it didn't work on Galactica or Kraken, but it works. It, you know, if it's done right, it works. That was awesome. That really good. And, and the headsets are in good condition. There was nothing wrong with them. They worked. No. Yeah, yeah. Audio was a little bit quiet, but yeah, that was so good. So good. I love this park so much and we've had a well good day today. I mean, look at the view. <laughs> right, so we've just come off Jukebox, which is the uh, the polyp hey, or, or the octopus if you're from the UK or from Blackpool. <laughs> octopus. Um, yeah. Jukebox, yeah, it was all right. That really good. It's like uh, Corvette cars themed. Uh, something like that back at Blackpool would be great. 
in fact anything back at Blackpool would be great you know um, like something like Low could be really good at Blackpool as well oh man I've tried to get as much off ride as we can but it's like ride to ride here I was going to get the uh, Valkyria coming round like I said last time we came here this uh, well, most of this wasn't even here So you want something that wouldn't be allowed back in the UK? Look how close the track is here. If you stood on this fence here, you'd be able to touch that. But yeah, amazing. It's so it's so impressive. Like they've been the you know back at home in the UK, they'd be like they'd be no even in America. There'd be a net across here to stop people throwing stuff at the riders. Because obviously the drops here, and it goes in the Immelman and here. You know what I mean? Back in the UK, you'd have people throwing stuff at people on the rides. It's just, it's just another world, isn't it? You know, stuff like that doesn't obviously happen over here. But yeah, watch this in a second. Yeah, the games are everywhere, aren't they? Yeah, it's really cool. Let's get this coming down again. And how close it comes to this track. There's empty seats on it. to go until park close off camera eh? half an hour all oh, right well we we'll have to be have to be a bit quicker then um yeah since i last spoke to you we've done uh, valkyria again we did um and we've just done boulder again it's flying now is boulder still a bit slower than when i did it five years ago but i don't get why they're playing et <laughs> it's really weird <laughs> yeah we've got to do the uh gerslau uh spin thing aero spinner what were they called sky flyer i don't know what they're called but yeah broke down on me last time i did this So that's it, our first day here at Liseberg has come to an end. We've had an amazing day today. Got on 22 rides according to Paul's log ride. Uh, we did just go back up to Helix, but I think they've got ERT for like another group because they said it was closed. Um, we did see empty trains going around, obviously taking the two off the track, off the system. Um, and then they've got like, it must have a group because there's people still going around. The same with Valkyria, that's still going around now. The park did close. What time is it now? Oh, it hasn't closed yet. Another five minutes yet. It's a 10 o'clock park close. We are back in the morning uh, for the Your Experience Guide um, event. I'm looking forward to that. Boulder for an hour in the morning and Helix for an hour uh, tomorrow night. I had a really, really good day today. Really enjoyed it. It's great to come back to this park. It is one of the best, well, say theme parks. It's an amusement park. It's one of the best amusement parks in the world, in my opinion. Operations have been great. We haven't been sat around waiting for rides all day. A lot of rides have been mm, around 10 minutes. Uh, so that's not too bad at all. I've got some on my lens. I have, haven't I? <laughs> we'll see a spot just there. Um, yeah, it's been amazing. What do you think, Paul? Ah, just the smile says it all, doesn't it? Yeah. Loved it. First time here. Brilliant part. Awesome. Can't wait for tomorrow. Top ride, obviously, Helix. Helix. Yeah. Helix. Uh, oh, it's good. He's just talk. running a bit slow, the isn't it? Is for me, he's a better Woody. Yeah. I did it at uh, Hyder Park the other day, but yeah, awesome place. Brilliant. Yeah. We're actually staying at the uh, Grand Curiosa tonight, or Curio, I don't know, Cur Curiosity or Curioso, Curioso, Curioso Hotel. 
So there will be a room tour coming for that. Paul's got to head back to the car and grab the bags because he's a good lad. I'm not, I'll hold that for you. I'm just going to stand around here and wait. Um, but there you go. Hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to do that on the side. Comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell for next time we we'll upload another video. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And uh, what do we say, Paul? Bye for Bye now. Bye for now.